Ben and Brittany with The Scott Life. We wanted to come to you with our month two review of being on the road. Um, so we're going to just kind of chat through a few different things such as uh, where we've been for the month, our different stats for being on the road this month, finances, a lot of people wonder how much does it cost to be on the road, and then just some of our kind of favorite things, places, um, memories that we've kind of had from our second month on the road. Um, in the description we will have a link to kind of jump to sections so if you're only interested in where we've been or finances you can kind of jump through from there um so first off is where were we uh in the month of february yep so we started off in rutherford beach louisiana mm -hmm. um end of month one got us through texas and just into louisiana so um, we started off the first of the month on rutherford beach um it was a free boondocking right on the ocean um, from there, we just kept going east. We were pretty much following the coast. Mm -hmm. um, went through Lafayette and then on to Fontainebleau State Park, um, just outside of New Orleans on the north side of the lake. Um, went in through New Orleans just for two days. And then through Foley, um, we just went right through Alabama, right through Mississippi pretty much, um, and stopped in Foley, a small little town north of Gulf Shores. Um, we were there for about a week. Um, went on from there to Pensacola and Destin. Um, Destin was gorgeous and then on to Madison, Florida up north of the Panhandle and then we started to cut south, um, still staying inland a little bit into Payne's Prairie. Mm -hmm. um, just there for a night or two and that's kind of where we ended uh, month number two. Mm -hmm. um, so we covered a good bit of ground, nowhere near as much as, as, much as Texas, um, but saw a lot of Florida the north side. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of terrain that we haven't seen. Yeah, but we, we went through the Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama spots pretty quick. Um, mm -hmm. Spent most, most of our time in Florida. Mm -hmm. So, all right, um, on to the stats. So s the main ones were we covered 911 miles this month. Um, previous month we had 2,400 miles. <laughs> um, so that was less than half, um, which was great. Yeah. Um, it was nice to drive a lot less. Um, we still spent 38 hours in the car, but again, we spent 77 in the previous month. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it was really nice to not be driving yeah. as much. It was a little more leisurely. Yeah, um, we stayed put a little bit more. I think we kind of found at the end of month one that um, we were jumping around a little too quick. Too many one-nighters here, two nights there. Um, so we spent a bit more time where we were in one spot for a week at a time. Um, I but still... we also weren't trying to get through Texas in one month, and Texas yeah. is huge. So. Yeah. So, I mean, I think the longest was maybe five, six nights, um, but I think that that kind of worked out good for us, was mm -hmm. that five or six nights. We didn't get restless and itchy to get to the next place, mm -hmm. um, but still got to see a lot in the month. Um, next one was our breakdown of how many nights we spent in free camping spots versus RV parks, um, state parks. So we spent 10 nights um, free camping in February. Um, that was great um, mm -hmm. for only being our second month and getting 10 nights of free um, that was really good so we only did and we did seven, seven. Yeah. In January. seven in January so yeah which a little was, bit more yeah so we had a couple nights on the beach um, between Henderson State Park and stuff like that and then unfortunately we had a lot in Walmart parking lot um, so Britt had to go back to Kansas City we'll tell you about that later um, so she was gone for four or five nights um, so I just stayed in a Walmart parking lot by myself, um, but it worked out good. It was cheap, obviously. He did the Walmart tour in Pensacola, so we got to go to a couple different Walmarts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, moved around to three different ones over the course of five days, um, but it worked out fine. Um, then we spent one or two nights in just a truck stop and rest area, um, just the quick overnight um, in between our, our major destinations. Um, so on the other side of the 10 free nights, we had 18 nights paid for, um, and we had 24 in January, so we cut down six nights of being paid. Granted, February has less days than January, so there's a couple there. Um, but the breakdown there was that we had eight nights in state and county parks. Um, we had 13 in January, so the majority of those were between Fontainebleau State Park. Um, Just north of New Orleans. North of New Orleans on the north side of the Big Lake there. Um, and then Henderson State Park in Destin, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, we were there for, I think, four four nights yeah, or so. Yeah, it was still a pretty short trip. Um, shorter stay than we would have liked to. We would have loved to have stayed there for weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but those were our two big ones. And then the other 10 nights were RV parks and resorts. Um, and the biggest one of that was Jellystone up in Madison. 
Yeah, so we went to Madison for a full-time, full-time family. family rally, which we'll chat on here soon. Yeah, so we were there for over just about a week. Mm-hmm. Um, really great, though. Um, got to meet a lot of people and everything, um, mm-hmm. but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So chat a little bit more about stats. Um, on the flip side, want to talk about finances. Again, a lot of people asking, well, how much does it really cost for us to be on the road? So when we left our first month, we did a little bit of a... Um, overview of what it was before we left. Um, So generally speaking, our average month pre-leaving was about $5,000 a month. Um, And that was all of our normal day-to-day living expenses. Um, Again, head on over to our blog to see a full list of what those entail. Um, In January, we were able to bump that down to $3,790. Um, so that was really great. We did see a decrease. And so we were really curious, what was month two going to bring? Was it going to be pretty consistent or were we just kind of seeing some off times? I think especially um, being that we were in Florida. We expected Florida to cost us a bit more. Well, we were only in Florida for half of the time. So we'll kind of see probably a little bit of a higher for the third month. Um, but a couple of notes about where we are in the road right now. So a couple disclaimers, want you to know our truck and trailer are paid off, so that is not something we don't have payments on those going forward. Um, Also right now we are expecting our second child, so in you will see a medical category, um, but that is not going to include anything in regards to baby. So if Ben needs to go to the doctor, Lily, we need medicine, anything like that, that will be included for normal on the road. Um, but we want you to get an understanding of what does it really cost to be on the road, and most people aren't expecting. So just so you know, we're not including any medical expenses for the baby in these numbers. Um, and then also, you may have heard us talking about a lake house that we own in Missouri, um, and that is kind of an investment process property for us. So nothing like house is included in this as well. This is just our expenses for being on the road singularly. Um, So for February, where did we end the month? So uh, again, January, we're at 3790. For February, we're a little bit above that at 3950. Um, But still, let me see here. Our average month on the road is 3870 compared to the 5000 where we were before. So we are definitely still seeing a, a, a decrease overall. Um, campground, we nearly doubled that again, just because we started getting in a little bit more pricier areas. Um, we still did a lot of boondocking, but we did see some higher expenses. Um, clothing, I had to get a few things for maternity that could fit me. So we saw a little bit of an increase in that. Uh, definitely decreased some things. Entertainment, we didn't do a ton of things on that. A lot of extras we bumped down, gas we saw a decrease in. Um, So we did see a decrease across in a lot of areas, but then we saw um, higher campground fees and stuff. So it kind of all balanced out really, really even for those couple of months. So we're looking, like I said, 38.70 is is our average for for month on the road. Mm -hmm. All right. The last section, um, and probably the most fun one, is our top five places, things, moments um, in month two. So I think this was a pretty easy one for both of us Mm -hmm. for the number one spot um, was Destin, Florida. Mm -hmm. Um, Destin, what I've always pinned it, it's been on my map to go to, um, but it wasn't on our top places to go. We were pretty much going from Pensacola and skipping on to Madison. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we were looking for an extra night or two to waste in between and came across a campground in Destin that just so happened to open up. Um, so we ended up at Henderson Beach State Park, um, and it was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I can't say enough awesome things about Henderson. We, I think we had only booked two nights there, and then... Well, there was only two available, and yeah. it just so happened that our campsite opened up for a third night, so we snatched that up very quickly. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. I mean, it was maybe 40 or so a night, um, but absolutely worth every penny mm-hmm. of it. Um, it was some of our better pictures of our, our slip with all the... Um, trees and coverage around us, um, nice wide open clean park, mm-hmm. um, gorgeous sand dunes on the way down to the water. And it was nice at the time, it started warming up so we got to enjoy being literally a walk from the ocean. Um, Lily got to fly her first kite, um, just sunsets, sunset, the park yeah. itself. Um, and then one really, really cool thing we did in Destin was we went to a dolphin tour. Um, we did one through the Olin Marler. And that was really cool. It was um, two hours, $20 a person, uh, totally worth it. I mean, they even guarantee that you're going to see dolphins. And we saw so many, and they we were 
those crazy people that were trying to get so much video and footage of the dolphins and they would stop for us and try and get us so we can get our GoPro footage, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get a ton of it, but it was, we got some awesome pictures. Um, it was so cool. I've never done a dolphin tour. I've never been up and close personal with any dolphins and just to see them in their natural environment was was really really neat i think we we're both more excited than lily was yeah, i think <laughs> i think we were more excited than lily was so definitely go to dustin it's beautiful um also they've just got some really quaint little little places and, and we really enjoyed our time there but um, one thing that we made a big mistake on is that we really weren't planning a ton into our trip just because we didn't really know where we were going to be when we were going to be and we didn't really want to limit ourselves if you're planning on going to florida during those months you have to plan <laughs> we missed out on a lot of really really cool spots because we did not plan in advance so the fact that we were able to get into henderson was really a miracle in of itself um, so definitely if you're thinking about hitting the road or you're on the road when you start going to places that are destinations that people want to go to make sure you book in advance it'll limit you a little bit but it will be so worth it to get into some of those places you really want to get into um so just a side note on that so that was one of our top ones was dustin from there um fontaine blue mm -hmm. um that was number two for number sure. two and that was right outside of new orleans we didn't really have high expectations of fontaine blue and it was a really beautiful state park mm -hmm. like really really beautiful and I think that that goes to show that our top two places that we went to parks, yeah. for the month were state parks because that's that's kind of our groove that's what we really do enjoy the most mm -hmm. they had big slips they had this wonderful boardwalk right on um, Poncher Train yeah. Lake <laughs> I'm gonna say it wrong um, and there was this like little cove that was tucked away from the beach and Lily and I would go and eat lunch there and we'd have dinner there. A couple great um, playgrounds for Lily. Really good playgrounds with Lily. Um, we had a couple of great bonfires. bonfires. One downside, one day we did get a lot of rain so yeah. one of our sites got flooded. flooded so we had to move sites but not mm -hmm. a big deal. Um, and that was really, really cool. Um, and, and then also when you were on the beachfront, you could look out and see uh, the Pontchartrain Causeway. And it's actually a 24 yes. mile long bridge. And we did end up driving over it to get into New Orleans for a couple of days when we stayed. Um, but it was pretty phenomenal to yeah. see like, I it's can't imagine how much though. time yeah. it took to build that. Mm -hmm. um, but it was expensive. We didn't expect it to be too bad, but with a truck and trailer, um, 18, how much did it cost? I think it was eighteen dollars. Eighteen bucks. Yeah. <laughs> One way. So I think that the big difference yeah. is the height. If you're over seven feet tall, then really you get charged awesome. extra, mm -hmm. and then it's X dollars per additional axle over two. Um, so that's how it added up so much. It was still so cool to drive over taken. it because yeah. I mean it's a twenty-four mile long bridge. Yeah. Um, but then after we got over, we figured out that you could have gone the other way around the lake for the same, for amount, the of time. same <laughs> amount of time, and it wouldn't have cost you eighteen bucks. But um, <laughs> worth seeing, but maybe not for 18 if you're trying to save It is a little dollars. bumpy. Yeah. Um, but then one really cool thing, too, about the Fontaine Blue area was that we got to meet um, another full-time family. So mm -hmm. shout out to the Grays. Um, mm -hmm. We, you know, have followed along other Instagram families and whatnot. And so we saw another family that had posted that they were staying at the same campground. So we messaged mm -hmm. them, and they came over for a bonfire. And it was just really great to mm – -hmm. that was one of our first times of being – in um, any sort of communication with another full-time family and we were really desiring that and, and it was cool to chat with them and learn more about their story and also to pick their brain, a little bit pick their brain yeah. and kind of see where their travels have led them. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely check them out as well, like I said, the Grey's Adventures. Um, At Fontainebleau, we also met back up with another couple that we met, mm -hmm. Josh and Sim. Yeah. Um, they were from Australia. We met them at... Rutherford, Rutherford Beach. Beach in Louisiana. Um, they pulled up behind us on the beach, saw our sticker on the back um, with our website mm -hmm. and logo, um, mm -hmm. looked us up, messaged us, and ended up coming by for a couple hours of chat that night. Um, and sure enough, our and paths I think were kind of that, crossing. I think that this past month was cool because of that, because yeah. how many times did we meet up with Josh and Sim? Four. Four or five, probably, yeah. Four or five. It just so yeah. happened, so there are a couple from Australia. They quit their jobs came over to the U.S., rented an RV in California, and they're literally doing this massive U.S. tour in six, six months. months. 
Um, and somehow our paths kept crossing. And so it was really cool um, to get to see them. And our daughter, Lily, for whatever reason, she took to Josh and Sim. And she still asks about them and wants to see pictures and asks when we're going to see them again. Unfortunately, our paths are probably done crossing for the U.S. Yeah. Um, but maybe one day we'll be able to make it over to Australia and see them. So, mm -hmm. um, so that was really cool. We kind of started a little bit of reaching out to other families, other couples, and kind of having feeling like we had a little bit more of a community in that in this past month. Yep. Um, so thank goodness for warmer weather and being able to kind of be out and about and do that. Yep, absolutely. Agreed. So that was number two. Number three for us is going to be New Orleans. So we had never been to Louisiana, never been in New Orleans, and um, I feel like you hear a lot of different things, good and bad about it. We didn't really know what to expect, and so we... Um, just spent two nights, mm -hmm. two nights there. Two nights, one day in town. One day in, in actual French Quarter area. So we didn't explore a ton. Um, the city has a lot more to offer, but uh, it was cool. Yeah. We spent a whole day wandering around. Um, a lot of character, a lot of culture, a lot of architecture. Good food. Um, saw a couple of cool street performers. One that, I mean, made me laughing so yeah. hard my cheeks hurt for an hour afterwards. Yeah, right in front um, of the cathedral there. The best yeah. street performers that I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, live music all over. Uh, roads are terrible. <laughs> yeah. We in thought New Michigan Orleans. roads are bad. <laughs> yeah, New we, Orleans roads are worse. So go, growing up in Michigan and coming back to Michigan to see family, we thought that roads in Michigan were bad. Oof. Yeah. Louisiana, I thought we went to Willie Mays mm -hmm. one night for dinner and. I thought either our car was going to break or other people's passing by us. They did not sound good. Yeah, it's got to be terrible for your yeah. suspension. Yeah, but we did a lot of food. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we were, were really hoping to be able to um, get into a really nice place to eat for dinner, but they as we always are, we don't 100% plan everything as far in advance as we should. Um, and there was a parade that go night going on because... Um, it's pre-Mardi Gras. Yeah, pre-Mardi yeah. Gras stuff leading up to. Yeah. So we did, what, Central Grocery, and that was the... I don't know how to say it. Mufflada. Mufflada. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Tell us if you say it differently. Yeah. <laughs> um, we stayed in, stayed in line for Cafe Du Monde. And it was a long line, but it went really fast. So yeah. those were delicious. Woolly mm -hmm. maize, some of the best fried chicken. Yep. Um, like I said, we did have a failed attempt, so we kind of ate at some not so great little diner and it was, eh, it was okay. not so great. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think the biggest thing for us is, so we had a really great day in New Orleans. I didn't think that I would love New Orleans and I was like, man, I would come back and mm -hmm. probably not with the kid, but come back and yep. do a adults weekend or something. We did a lot of walking um, too, which made it a little tough with kid. Yeah. Uh, but there's definitely a lot to see. She did good and it was nice weather, but it was a little getting a little bit warm on that day. Um, but then that evening, we so there was a couple of parades during the day, and for whatever reason, we just didn't even think to go to them. Um, and then at 6.30 that night, there was another parade, and so we were like, oh, this will be a blast. Mm -hmm. We'll go to this parade. See some we got floats, Lily, some like I was expecting a lot of marching bands, just cool things, a lot of life and some color. Music, yeah. 6.30, I feel like it's still, like, family-friendly time. Yeah. And here we are telling Lily there's going to be candy and music lights and, yeah. and music. And, guys, <laughs> if you've been to New Orleans, you know that we are fools. Like, yeah. it was so bad. Yeah. I mean, Ben and I, yeah. first off, the amount of people that came out of the woodwork was yeah. insane. Yeah. Um, Flips a switch at night. What people yeah. were wearing was yeah. insane. Yeah. Um and the things that I've seen, I can un not unsee. I mean, it was, we probably stayed for what, five, ten minutes just to like. 10, 15 at most. Yeah. Maybe be there to just be there. <laughs> and just then to we say we've been. hightailed it out of there because. Yeah. We looked at each other, <laughs> not knowing what to say, being dirty, mind, body, and soul, wondering. I felt like I needed to go home and describe, shower. <laughs> how to describe our experience. I didn't even know. I didn't even know what to do. I think Ben and I were both speechless the yeah. the whole ride back. Um, and so New Orleans was definitely interesting. I yeah. don't it's not really our, our scene for the evening lifestyle. Yeah. Um, but the day was really, really really fun, really yeah. cool, and I would definitely I would go back. I think it's one of those cities that even if like if you don't want to spend a bunch of money, mm -hmm. you could just walk the city. Mm -hmm. Like you can do, there's so much character to every different block. There's so many different things to see. I mean every block there was somebody playing music there was mm -hmm. a band going by there was a little corner you can tuck into and have something to munch on yeah um, some cool little plazas and parks um, so it's just one of those cities that would be easy to spend a long weekend 
Yeah. Um, and not spend a ton of money if you didn't want to. Yeah. So we definitely love New Orleans. So that wraps up number three favorite. Um, fourth on our list was when we were going through Louisiana, mm -hmm. um, right outside of Lafayette was a gator tour yep. with, I think it's pronounced champagnes. I don't think it's yep. pronounced that way. Um, yep. But that, again, was really cool. So between the dolphin tour we did and the skater tour, um, again, we've never been through Louisiana. And so the terrain, everything about it was completely foreign mm -hmm. to us. And it was really cool. Um, we saw only two gators. Yeah. One was smaller. One was a little bit bigger. Um, so we didn't see a ton of them. But... Uh, it was cheap. The it guide, was long. The guide was yeah, awesome. It was $20. It was a two-hour ride. Um, Lily was $10. So it's 50 for the the three of us. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was really educational. I left there just knowing so much more about the overall um, ecosystem, ecosystem yeah. geography, terrain. I mean, everything about it, animals, yeah. plants, just things that I didn't really think I cared about. It was actually really cool to learn a ton and walk away and feel like, gosh, this is, this is a really, really cool place. This is unique. Mm -hmm. Um, the tour guide did awesome. It was, it was really, really nice. Um, and we love being out on the boat in the water. Um, so it was kind of nice to just have a little couple hour yeah, it was relaxed a, ride on a, on a boat. It was a flat bottom aluminum boat, probably mm -hmm. held what, 20, 25 people or mm -hmm. so. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Really cool. I learned a lot about the trees. Um, the trees, there was actually a couple cool facts about the trees, what the mm -hmm. cypress trees, how they drip the sap in it almost turns into like a citronella kind of scent and so there's zero mosquitoes yeah. um, which we didn't because you think swamp and yeah. so you think that you're going to have a bunch of bugs and, and kind of be a nuisance and annoyance mm -hmm. as you're going through but not a single mosquito yeah. um it was just you know they knew everything about the area so it was really cool to, to do that definitely yeah. if you're in the lafayette area go and and do that mm -hmm. um, i think it was lake martin I yep. Believe. Yeah, right on, on Lake, Lake Martin. Martin, and right beforehand, there's a cute little town right around the corner. We got mm -hmm. a um, good meal, some good burgers, and mm -hmm. stuff ahead of time. So Gator tour, that was really fun. Um, and then fifth on our list, that's going to bring us to our time in Florida. So we spent um, time in Madison, and so that was kind of north central area of the state. Mm -hmm. And our biggest reason for doing that was when we met the Grays in. Um, Fontaine Blue, mm -hmm. they told us about a group, I guess you could call uh, full-time families. So if you haven't checked them out, if you are a full-time RV family, check them out. It's this really great community to be a part of, really inexpensive to be a member of, and they host some really fun events. Um, so this was their reunion, mm -hmm. their big reunion, and so we went to the Jellystone in Madison, and uh, how many nights were we there? seven somewhere around there yeah six or seven yeah so we were there for yeah i want to say six days so it might have been five nights um but we went to jellystone and that was just so much fun i mean what there was like 70 families yeah, 70 something and so going from having no one to really talk to our first month to meeting a couple people mm -hmm. and then at the end of this month um, speed date yeah. being, it was it was speed dating with families but we mm -hmm. met some really cool families that we've kept up with mm -hmm. and that's been really cool and not even people that we really talked to a ton there but somehow we've all connected on facebook and different things and so we Your can paths kind of cross i mean mm -hmm. we've we've met up with two of them since yeah um so yeah yeah so jellystone was cool and it was great for lily she was craving some kid time so there's mm -hmm. an awesome bounce house um she got to meet yogi bear and she was thrilled mm -hmm. Um, Unfortunately, the pool stuff wasn't open, so there's the pool and the pond. They had a lot of cool water park kind of stuff, and it was we were a little bit too early, so it was opening the following week, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so we did miss that, um, but I it mean, the springs. rally itself, like I said, 70 families. It had about 10 events each day that you could could and couldn't go to if you wanted to. Everything from little what coffee talks to educational to bonfires mm -hmm. to meals. Yeah crafts yeah. music you name it yeah everyone was so just down to earth and really cool and what you anticipate on the road to find a hundred percent we found with full-time families at the rally so that was really cool if you have a chance to do one on your path do one mm -hmm. um it was worth it and a shout out again to full-time families check them out if you have not before they've got a facebook group a website mm -hmm. um and if you buy into what was it escapees mm -hmm. 
So we bought into escapees, and with that, you get the full-time families. And membership. vice versa. If you and buy into full-time yeah. families, you get into escapees and different things, too. So yeah. so check out full-time families. Um, but one cool thing when we were in Madison as well is they have the Madison Springs, mm -hmm. and that was only about 15 minutes from where we were staying at Jellystone. And we actually That's went twice. First time, it was so beautiful. It was clear, bright blue, green yes. water, freezing cold water. It was um, swimmable, but swimmable, but for five minutes at a time. Not for long. Yeah. Um, and so there was this nice little beach area down a trail too, and it was one of our first days of warmer weather, mm -hmm. and so that was really really nice. Yeah. Um, we had lunch over there. We wanted to kayak down the river, but the current was too big. Mm -hmm. Um. A lot of people scuba dive, so there's a kind of a cave entrance area in the main springs, and then on the other side of the park there is this really, really small exit <laughs> cave area that you can come out of, mm -hmm. um, and so that was pretty cool. And then the second time we went back at the end of the week with a few families from the rally, um, we had gotten a significant amount of rain one night, and so it definitely was not as beautiful as it was the first time, but it was it was still a lot of fun. Everyone went swimming, and Lily um, went swimming, and we even bought her a little wetsuit because we knew we were going to spend some time at the springs. So she got to be a dolphin trainer, in her words, mm -hmm. uh, and go swimming at the springs. So that uh, that was really cool. That was I did not know going into Florida how many springs... springs yeah. And different things there are and so it was just kind of our first taste of uh, a lot more to come for our month three mm -hmm. um, but really really fun time in Madison and a lot of that was due to the full-time families rally mm -hmm. um, but that wraps up our our second month mm -hmm. we did a lot yeah it was mm -hmm. it was slower moving than the last one mm -hmm. um, a little bit less ground but we I think mm -hmm. Slowing down a bit definitely gave us a chance we to experience We figured out what was more. working for us a little bit more. Yeah. Kind of got into a little bit of a groove and really started enjoying our time mm -hmm. um, in each of the places and kind of getting a little bit of a what worked for us and what didn't. Um, so I guess that brings us, wraps up our, our top five. Um, now we want to give you guys a little bit of update on our personal lives. Um, so we really want to be transparent in kind of our travels and, and everything that's going on with us. and. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have some updates for you. <laughs> um, first big one is we are expecting our second child and this month I got to go back to Kansas City to see some old friends as well as uh, do our 20 week ultrasound and so we got to find out the gender. Ben couldn't come because he had to work so he stayed in Pensacola and did some nice Walmart boondocking. Mm -hmm. And um, I got the envelope of what we were having and had to wait for many days to see him so we could find out together. Um, but we do have a live gender reveal on our Facebook, so check that out. Um, but to spoiler alert, we are having another girl added to our family. Um, so that was very exciting for uh, especially Lily to find out she's been wanting a, a little sister. So we are having a girl, so we found that out. Um, baby's doing great. Like I said, went back to Casey for a checkup. And that was my first time back into, I don't want to say the real world, but back into a normal house, staying with friends. Um, and it was definitely interesting to kind of go from being on the road for a month and a bit, uh, going back into the house. And uh, what I found out was that I really love our little world that we've created in our RV here. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was nice to get back to Ben and, and get back to our travels. Um, so outside of kind of baby update, um, we have some other very, very big personal <laughs> updates in our lives. Um, so on the track of baby, we are due July 10th. And so our intention was we've all of our family back in Michigan, pretty much most of our family back in Michigan. And so we were planning on heading up end of May to kind of be stationary until uh, baby comes for a little while and then continue our travels out West. Um, so that was the original intention. And then we had a little bit of a hiccup in the road. Um, yeah, short and sweet version <laughs> was that we left Kansas City with me still working for my corporate IT company, um, and it's not a job that's made for remote work, um, so I was kind of the exception to the rule, got it approved, um, and that kind of fell through. Um, just being on the road, being remote just wasn't working out. Um, so as of, what, mid the 20th or so of March, um, I'm now done in corporate America. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a couple decisions to make on what we we're going to do, how we we're going to change up plans to get an income coming back in. 
uh, to be able to continue this lifestyle. Yeah, um, I think our number one was that we knew we wanted to continue traveling, so yeah. we didn't want to stop that. Um, and what would allow us to be able to do that um, and enjoy our times to the fullest. And so mm-hmm. when we were in Kansas City in our previous home, we did buy a fixer-upper home and we f- you know, fixed it right, up right, over yeah. the period of five years that we lived there. And we turned a really, really great profit. And so Ben has always, he's a very, very handyman kind of guy. He can do pretty much anything. Or if he can't, he will find it on YouTube and figure out how to do it. Um, and so we have always talked about wanting to see where we could be with financial gain on flipping a house. Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of looking at our path of where were we going to be going forward to, to pre baby. And one of them was stopping in, in Michigan downstate where my brother and sister-in-law live. And we decided that we were going to go for it. So we, as of Two days ago, three two, days ago. Two days ago, we bought a house. <laughs> but yeah. it's not a house to live in. Um, it's a house that we parked the trailer next to. We plan on being here for a couple of months to do a little bit of a flip on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and by a little bit, I mean... A lot of it. A lot of a flip on it. Um, so pretty much top to bottom, we are redoing this house. Yeah, bought it sight unseen. Yep. We did not see it before we bought it. Um, and so that is kind of why we've been on a little bit of hiatus on social media and different things is we were trying to figure out the craziness of buying a house, switching job, moving, moving across the country, <laughs> all of that. Um, so needless to say, unfortunately, we were planning on spending after Florida, we were planning on spending a lot of time in the Smokies region because that is an area that we love. Um, slowly making our way north. Slowly making our way north. Um, and that changed. So we had to cut all of our time in the Smoky short Mm -hmm. and we had to hit Kansas city to pick up tools, pick up baby stuff from storage and then up to Michigan. Um, and so we did that in the matter of a week and a couple days. And, uh, so we just made it up to Michigan. We are, um, like I said, (laughs) just purchased the home and we are still living in the trailer. So Heads up, we will be stationary um, for a couple of months while we are doing this house, but we will kind of show you all the transformation. We're going to also um, give us a little bit of time to, to get some content out to you guys as well on RV lifestyle of what we did our first few months on the road. Um, we still have another month review for you to do, so you do have another month of on the road travels to come. I do think it'll be interesting too to see because we will continue another one of these after being stationary so it will be kind of interesting to see of the if you are stationary but still living in your rig Mm -hmm. what the price difference and everything will be yeah Um, because we've been moving so much up until this point that it'll be interesting to see what living in the rig but not moving around costs us as well Um, we'll see a drastic decrease so um so just a heads up like i said we expect it to be about a two-month flip we will work our way to northern michigan to have baby number two and then um, from there we'll hang out for a little bit to kind of recover get a a new game plan with uh, a family living in the rv and then we plan on heading out west so stay tuned we have a lot of exciting adventures still to come um and we look forward to sharing them all with you. So if you have any questions about anything of our lifestyle, anything coming up, we would love to answer those for you. Um, If you're thinking about flipping a house, anything like that, we will definitely give you uh, things that we've learned and haven't learned already. Um, But Ben's already knocked out a few walls and different things, and so we're really excited to see uh, what this next month will bring. So stay tuned.